Here we have a fun little problem about graphs of polar functions. And so which of the following is the graph of the polar function r equals f of theta, where f of theta equals 3 cosine theta plus 2 in the polar coordinate system from 0, less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 2 pi. So in here, probably the simplest way to attack this, I believe, is to look at some of the important points on the curve and see which ones correspond to this graph. So let's look at these angles. If I'm pointing directly to the right, that is an angle of 0. So let's figure out what f of 0 equals. That's going to be 3 cosine 0 plus 2. I know the cosine of 0 is 1. So 3 times 1 plus 2, and that is if I'm pointing, let's say, directly left, that's probably going to be enough to get me there. So directly left is pi radians, so f of pi equals 3 cosine pi plus 2. The cosine of pi is negative 1, so I have 3 times negative 1 plus 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 2 is negative 1. And then let's consider what happens when we're back pointing to the right. So we've gone all the way around the unit circle. That is at 2 pi. So f of 2 pi. It's coterminal to this. The only thetas we see are inside cosines or sines. So I know it's going to be 5. Let's walk through it anyway. 3 cosine 2 pi plus 2. The cosine of 2 pi is 1. 3 times 1 plus 2 is, in fact, 5. So when I'm pointing right, I go right 5. When I'm pointing left, I go left negative 1. And then when I come back around pointing right, I go right 5. So let's see the 5s. C and D both have these. So A and B do not have that polar coordinate 0, 5, or 2 pi 5. We can eliminate those. Going left negative 1. So left negative 1 is the same thing as going right 1. I'm missing that point right here. So it's not C. But I see that I do get back over to right 1. My answer is D.